Well, the first leg of the pick six is the third race. It's a maiden plate for fillies and mares. They're going to race over 1,900 metres, and it is again a very weak race. When studying this field, there's at least six of them that on form, well, I can't say, well, we can say can't win because on form they really shouldn't win. But stranger things have happened. All things being equal, horse number two, Diamond Girl, should be a pick, suggested pick six banker and should be very, very hard to beat. She's not going to get an easier opportunity than she gets today than winning her maiden. She's lightly raced. She ran second on debut to Duchess of Sussex. Since then, she's run fourth, third, and her last run was a very good third to Indigo Moon. Now, that's what concerns me. You know, Indigo Moon is a consistent sort, uh, but again, not going to be going to Hollywood. In saying all of that, Diamond Girl, in that race where Indigo Moon won and Diamond Girl ran third, there have been five runners for two winners, and in her penultimate start, there's been nine runners for two winners. All this should be really good enough for number two Diamond Girl to set herself free from the maiden ranks. So she is my first choice. For second, I'm going with number three, Bijou, who gets the services again of Wayne Agrella. He's done well on this craze in Philly for Nathan Cotson. Never too far off the action recently. She's improving and I think she's going to go very close. Number, five, number three, Bijou. Eight and five could certainly fill up the back end of quartets. They are five, Ballygood, and eight, Miss Emblem. Miss Emblem is the one that's likely to go to the front and set the pace. And if she had to hold on and win, I certainly wouldn't be shocked. You're either going to take the stance here, ladies and gentlemen, to bank a diamond girl or again load up and look to beat her. But, as I said in the preview, she's not going to find an easier opportunity of winning her maiden.